<laughs> Hi you. Before enjoying this video, please lay a little love on that subscribe button. I'll be extremely grateful to you. Enjoy. Mismanaged expectations. It's just it's felt like my place. You know, it's really abnormal to be coming around the pool at this hour. I never said I wasn't a, a, a normal. I know you. I do. I know you. We were in math class together. We were in the, oh God, we were in that God awful math class with the terrible teacher. With the, the like the terrible teacher. We were, in, we were, we were bunker buddies. <laughs> Not that that matters now. Um, this is weird, <laughs> I guess. Well, for starters, I never thought I was gonna see you again, let alone <laughs> in a swimsuit, I am. And at, at this hour, oh yeah, I'm just waiting for you to leave now so that I can get back to diving. Oh, I don't want to dive with you watching me. It just breaks my focus, is all. Ironic, isn't it, coming from. Me, yeah, I used to dive. Used to, being the operative word. A lot has changed. Here, I'm just gonna. Oh, I might as well get out. Ah, Next to you, I guess. You look the same to me. <laughs> it's it's. Neither a good or a bad thing, just look the same to me. It's, it's weird to see you out of that element. Oh, yeah, because you were always, <laughs> I always associated math class with you, and this all just feels very surreal. It sort of feels like a dream. Granted, this environment in and of itself always sort of feels like a dream, and I think that's why I come here. Well, you had to state the obvious. I love to dive, but you know, it's if sometimes I just feel like I'm a raging masochist to do this. I'm closet diving. Basically, I, you know, life happens and you, you set certain goals and you have certain needs and certain things that you loved to do simply no longer fit into that equation. They no longer serve, which is fine. That's only human and we have to let go of the things that no longer serve us. But, you know, what if we, if we've come to learn to self-validate through those things that used to serve us, or we get ego involved, <laughs> the ultimate killer. It's, it's not hard to accept the fact that I no longer die. If I made that decision and it was a good one at that, I would have made that decision had it not been a good choice. It's just, it's hard. It, it's, when I come out here, it, I'm very torn. On one hand, I, I still love to do it. And it's nice to have a hobby. You know, at least I have a hobby that I love. And it's good to, you know, 
unplug and unwind and do something strictly because you like it. You know, that is a healthy thing. But on the other hand, it is so hard for me to stop comparing what I can do today now that I am out of shape to what I used to be able to do. You know, with every faulty backflip or every exhausted lap where I used to be able to just swim circles and circles and circles. I mean, I didn't understand how people get exhausted in the water. I felt like the water was like this gravity-free moon space where everything was just light and easy. Little did I know, I just took for granted the fact that I was just in really good shape. So what I thought was easy, you know, other people did not, and now I am other people. And not that that's so bad, it's just, you know, oh, geez, I might as well just come out with that. I think I do this alone at night because I feel embarrassed to swim and dive around other people now because, you know, I know they, unless they're jerks, you know, and that's always a possibility, but who cares what jerks think? So really I shouldn't care what anybody thinks. And it's not like most people would care anyhow. Nobody's, you know, at least sensible people. <laughs> they're not judging me. And I'm not out here to compete, but it's just so embarrassing to compare. And even, you know, even my body. I mean, I used to be made of muscle. You know, I can bench press two of you and, <laughs> you know, and it showed. And, you know, not to say I hate my body right now, but it's just different. You know, it's, it's hard for me to feel like myself and my skin these days when I got really used to, you know, self-identifying with a certain degree of muscle in both aesthetic as well as use. I was more useful back then, you know, God forbid there was like a fire in the gym. I could carry everybody out, <laughs> sort of, you know, stupid stuff like that. You know, things, skill, things I'll never need to do, but it was just nice to know I could. And, you know, a lot of that is just rooted in toxicity, but the, it's just, it's, it's weird. It's weird to love a thing that also makes me feel bad about myself. And so I know the solution is, you know, the problem is not the hobby. The problem is my state of mind, but that's the hardest thing to change, isn't it? The problem is the hobby. It wouldn't be so hard to find something else that I enjoy, but when it's a state of mind, it's hard to unlearn the things that you've learned. And what I used to learn was that what made me interesting was my capacity to dive and swim really, really well. And what made me an attractive person, not in a romantic sense so much as just attractive as energy, you know, was the fact that I was strong gave me confidence, made me interesting. I think people used to feel safe with me and now I don't know what they think. I don't know what they feel. I have no idea, I have no idea how people feel when they talk to me. I mean, I think just a lot of, oh, I need to get over the fact that when people look at me, they immediately consider all kinds of inaccurate presumptions and I just need to not care, you know, whether I prove them wrong or not. None of that matters. What matters is what I do every day for myself, as myself, you know, and I think I need to start considering it a privilege for the people that do see me for me in my entirety. I think, you know, maybe I should be exclusive. Maybe I should honor the fact that so many people will jump to inaccurate conclusions about who I am and what I can do by first appearances, you know? Maybe who I am ought to be exclusive to a select few who are worthy of being a more invested part of my life, but it's just, I hate 
hate, I hate, I hate that I care what other people think. So I guess now you're all caught up on me. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't care about catching up with you. I, no, it's just an event. Just an event. And you just so happen to be the person sitting here to listen. I'd have vented anyway, even if you weren't here. Yeah, I'd have vented anyway, even if you, yeah, you know. I feel like you were always a secret sass, you know that? Yeah, you always had a sassier sense of humor than you ever let off, I always could tell. It was in there, I saw those wheels turning, but... <laughs> That's ironic. Well, it's ironic because I feel like of all people in that math class, and we were just talking about people seeing each other for their entirety, I think I, I saw you. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> and I guess you see me. Assuming you were listening, I think you were always a really terrible listener, to be perfectly honest, so whatever. Who cares? Who cares about any, you know, who cares about any of this? None of this matters. I'm gonna have new people in my life anyway, you know, I've been a full human turnover in like a year. I'm gonna be really disappointed in all my old friends and <laughs> do a switcheroo. I'm gonna change myself, old me, that skin will shed. We'll have new hobbies and new interests and who cares, who cares? If, if everything is constantly ebbing and flowing and changing, then why do we care so much? Not that, not that I care about anything. I'm just, I'm just surprised to see you. That's all that means. And it's, it's really freaking weird that that we're talking like this. I haven't talked to you in a really long time. Of all people, I mean, this is weird, right? This is weird. Yeah, but who's to say that weird is a bad thing? You know, weird is one of those, while we're on it, you know, weird is one of those words that has lost all meaning. Like, it makes me crazy. You know, it's, it's like, if somebody says you're weird, okay, well, what does that mean? Like, what is that, what does that mean? Like, are, are you telling me I'm, I'm, I'm different somehow? Well, how am I different? You know, if weird means different, well, how am I different? Is it the way that I look? Is it the way that I dress? Is it the way that I speak? Okay, well, then how? Like, under what circumstances? Am I weird? Because let me tell you, if you pull a hair jika girl and stick them in Australia, they're gonna look weird. But if you throw them into Japan, they're the hot thing, you know? They are mainstream. And vice versa. So like, what is weird? And it doesn't always mean going against grain. Sometimes people say weird and they mean like, oh, that person is deranged, you know? Or sometimes they say weird and it's like, they're cool and quirky, you know? Like, it's just, the word weird means nothing. It makes me nuts when people use that word because I'm like, be more specific. And then sometimes they're like, oh, it's good weird. Okay, well then what's bad weird? What's a good weird? And if it's good weird, tell me then what's the, what's the specification of that word? Are you trying to tell me that you like, I don't know, you like the fact that I swim at night and that's like a good thing? You think that's positive? Then like, Maybe not use the word weird. Maybe use the word, I don't know, athletic. Anything other than a completely nondescript word. You know? I have a friend, so that is her biggest pet peeve. So she's been called weird her entire life. Very impressive person. Beautiful person. And 
she went off on her old friend of hers because she was actually going on about, we had had this discussion. So she was going on about this rant and the friend was like, well, you are weird. And she was like, tell me how, and the friend, you know, like as <laughs> presumably so, she was like a deer in headlights. And she was like, uh, she really tried to double down on weird. And the second she was asked to specify, she was like, uh, 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 ambition. And that one was new. And she reported that one to me. I'm like, well, I guess there's another adjective under the word weird is ambitious. Like, what are you talking about weird? Sometimes I think it's just a word that people use when they feel threatened by other people and they want to level them out. It's like the easy way to just like, you know, level that energetic playing field. I feel threatened by you. Oh, you're weird. It could be anything. You just know that I look down on you somehow and I guess that makes me bigger, I guess. Whew. I had to get that off my chest. <laughs> it's been a long, ooh, it's been a long time since I had that discussion. I'm sorry I said that being here is weird. I think I said that because I feel threatened. I feel threatened because you are a person that to be perfectly honest, I kind of felt like didn't really want to speak to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, what am I supposed to think when you don't speak to me? I, I don't care what your self-image is. I mean, you could be a jock or a nerd or a quiet kid or a rebel. Like, if you don't speak to me, I'm going to assume no matter how you perceive your own, I don't know, self-confidence, self-confidence, social hierarchy, who cares? Like, if you don't speak to me, I'm going to assume that whoever you are, whatever your self-branding, that you don't want to talk to me. So what if you don't believe me on that? It's like, it's, we, we, we didn't speak. What else was I supposed to think? And then I didn't know, I wasn't mad at you for it. I didn't hold it against it. I promise, look, I just kind of figured, okay, like, so what, we're not friends, who cares? I'm just, I'm just using this as a reference to the fact that this, this conversation freaks me out because I just didn't expect it. And it makes me a little bit intimidated and I don't like to feel intimidated. So I used the word weird and I'm sorry. Okay. That is what that means. No, it doesn't mean anything else. It certainly doesn't mean that we should catch up anymore at any other point. I just want to swim and dive. When apparently I don't. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Oh. Life is hard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Were, were you going to swim or something? Or? Because if you were... I wouldn't mind showing you some cool things. Some cool tricks, yeah. Fun cool tricks you can show to your friends and be impressive. I can teach you some stuff, it would be fun. I mean, why not, you know, get my mind off my own skills for a second. It might be nice, it might be nice to pay it forward. Put some of my old skills to use, yeah. Okay, well don't be a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Don't back out on me now. We've come this far. We've been this brave. I've been this brave. Now it's your turn. Just for the record, I don't enjoy your company. I just enjoy swimming at this hour in this place. And you happen to be here. That being said, Good to see you. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. And that felt like a tension building. I had to break. 